Hello, my name is Errol Emmert, and I'm an advisory solution consultant. And today I'm going to be discussing the Data Foundation's dashboards for CMDB and CSDM. ServiceNow is providing two distinct dashboards to help manage the structure and manage the ongoing maintenance of the CMDB based off of the common service data model. And each one of these dashboards provides key foundation indicators uh, for both the CMDB and CSDM. We'll take a look at both of the dashboards and some of the specifics around each one of them and the value that they bring. Both of the dashboards are currently available in the ServiceNow software store, and they can be downloaded by any um, ServiceNow administrator. Let's go ahead and start off looking at the CMBB Data Foundations dashboard. Now, the, the value of these in particular is anyone that is going to be implementing or maintaining a ServiceNow CMDB, what we're doing is providing some key insights into the current status and obviously helping to maintain the health of that particular CMDB. And if you look at this, there are two tabs for the top left-hand quadrant of the screen. We have two distinct tabs. We have the CMDB Data Foundations tab, and then we have the CMDB Insights tab. Um, they're both very similar, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the Data Foundations tab, drill into some of the specifics, and we'll talk about the Insights tab in a couple of minutes. If you look at the screen, there's two halves. There's the top half, which provides some of those foundation indicators, and then the bottom half are some of the uh, more detailed reports. And these are interactive reports, so uh, a user can actually double click into each one of those to look at more detailed specifics around those specific metrics or indicators. Now, if we look at the, uh, the top half, the indicators, you'll notice that each indicator has a score between zero and 100%. That priority is based off of the weight and the score. And if we look at that top indicator, hardware CIs with serial numbers, we see that it's based off of a, of a medium high score priority. And it looks like 51.03% of the CIs in the CMDB actually have a serial number. So what this is doing is surfacing the potential risk of those CIs not having that identifier, that serial number within the CMDB. We're providing to the right of each one of those indicators remediation playbook access. And this will help customers to look at ways to remediate or solve those particular situations. Now let's take a look at the CMDB Insights tab. Now if you'll notice, there are 11 total key foundation indicators between the CMDB Data Foundations tab and the CMDB Insights tab. And if you look at the Insights tab, it is really just six additional indicators uh, to kind of help surface any potential risk with the implementation of the ongoing maintenance um, of the particular CMDB. And if you look at this particular screenshot of the Insights tab, everything looks good except for that top one, obviously CI's process via IRE. It's listed as priority critical, and there is 0% of the CI's are being processed via the IRE. This is an issue because processing those CIs via the IRE can help resolve um, ongoing issues with CMDB uh, management, particularly things around um, you know, dealing with duplicates. So we allow the customer to click directly into the remediation playbook to look at ways to actually refine the management of those CIs using the IRE. So really helpful insights into first water potential risk to the ongoing uh, maintenance um, you know, and accuracy of the CMDB, and then giving the customers access to the remediation playbook. Let's take a look at the CSDM Data Foundations dashboard. Now, the Common Service Data Model, or CSDM, is ServiceNow's framework for how to model out the CMDB for better business outcomes. And this is our recommendation for how the customers structure the CMDB by following this particular framework. And what we've done is we've created five tabs to help customers manage the implementation of the CSDM. Um, we recommend rolling out the CSDM in stages. And to that end, we've created these tabs based off of those individual stages as you progress through the maturity of building out the CMDB around that common service data model. So the first tab we look at is foundation. And this just gives us some of those standard foundation indicators um, just in general with the common service data model. You can take a look at some of the indicators at the top, right? Name product models with product owners. And then business units with companies are both showing up as 
as um, in the red from a result perspective. So the percentages are low of each one of those particular indicators. It may or may not be relevant um, or of a critical nature to that customer, but the goal is to surface that potential risk and then allow the customers to look at the remediation through that playbook URL. Once again, at the bottom half, you have access to those interactive reports. Now let's move through these various stages of um, implementing the common service data model. The first tab we look at is the crawl stage. And what this does is it focuses on business applications and application services and the relationships between them. So as an example, you can look at this particular stage and this because this customer has walked through uh, implementing the CMDB via the CSDM. You can see that they are pretty clean from a standpoint of application services to business app relationships. And you can take a look that they're 100% across the board. So this is a good way for customers to keep track of their progress as they're implementing the common service data model. The next phase, which would be walk, is going to focus primarily on the technical service offerings and their parent technical services. If you take a look at this, there are really no records to display. Um, this could mean a couple of things. It could mean that they're just getting to this stage or, or identifying walk as their next phase of implementing the, the CMDB using the common service data model. But this also gives them the ability to take a look at what technical service offerings are available within the CMDB using the CSDM. The bottom right hand quadrant of the screen, you see that the report states that there are 58 technical service offerings. So then moving to the run phase, this stage is really going to focus on the impact that various technologies is going to have on the overall business. You can see this focuses on things like application services with business service offering relationship, um, you know, services using base system CMDB tables, then also calling out um, any particular service that is using or not utilizing a custom CMDB table. So like I said, once again, great insights into that particular stage of the kind of the more advanced phase of building out the CMDB using that common service data model. And then once again, you have those key indicators at the top. They're going to call out any specific issues or potential issues with that particular phase of the CSDM. Finally, we'll look at the fly stage. And this really focuses on the information objects and also the catalog request items that are related to any potential service offerings. You see that there are no indicators that have been uh, thrown out within this particular phase. But if you look at the bottom half of the screen, it'll call out some of the specific numbers around information objects within the CMDB. And then also on the right-hand side, the bottom right-hand quadrant, you can see the catalog request items that are related to those service offerings. So really good, rich information to help customers get a snapshot of where they are within each one of those phases of implementing their, CS, or their CMDB based off of that common service data uh, model framework. Now to wrap this up, the CMDB Data Foundations Dashboard, including the CSDM um, Foundations Dashboard, really provide customers a lot of value around being able to get a snapshot of the current structure or state of the CMDB as it relates to the implementation of the CSDM and also calls out those specific issues or potential issues via the key indicators and allow customers to have access directly to those specific remediation guides um, or how-to guides to help them remediate or solve those problems. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.